guys what's up john and craig with a live outside we are headed out on john's property to do a quick camping trip in his jeep my new jeep yeah we're working on a wicked cool project we're making a bushcraft boulevard if you've got an older video uh where we started it the skitter broke down we had to drag that thing out get get the logger going again and then I came in, did some work with the tractor, filling in some uh, big ravines. Uh, and now we're out here with the Jeep. So far, I'm loving this new little toy. Definitely some upgrades I wanna do. A Little bit more clearance, get rid of the, uh, the performance exhaust, and uh, obviously some more aggressive tires, and then we're gonna have some fun with this thing. Bushcraft Boulevard is, uh, is a road, I don't know, it's probably at least, I would say a quarter mile long and it just goes in kind of into the center of a, a really thick chunk of woods a lot of mountain laurel but we got a nice little private campsite in the middle i actually brought in a couple of loads of gravel in my tractor so we did have a spot to walk around and not trip on roots and, and that kind of stuff so it's a little bit spoiled it's not uh, it's not really bushcraft boulevard it's more like uh car jeep camping off-road camping boulevard but We're gonna go set up a fireplace. <laughs> you serious? I can put the camera down and help. <laughs> You're not, got, that's not even healthy. It's all right, as long as you just use your legs. I think I heard somebody say that. Oh my God, dude. Making a fire pit, but I don't want to burn my property down, so we'll keep this nice big flat rock as a base for our fire, and then build up a backstop around it. I forgot the tripod, so I'm gonna to have to hold the camera. I don't think I can help with all these rocks. You know, John needs to be filmed. Man, that was so much work. I am bushed. No, seriously, man. Hold on. Let me help you out. All right. There we go. It is complete. These little chairs are awesome. There's another version where there's no feet on them and they're really hard to get out of, in and out of, especially if you have a couple drinks. Um, we bring these backpack and they weigh a little bit over a pound. Sunyer is the cheapest I found on Amazon. They have other versions, there's Helinox and things like that that are well over a hundred. We have both and these are comparable to the higher end models. <laughs> We're hammocking tonight. This is my uh, homemade flat hammock. Uh, it makes for a nice real flat lie. The, uh, the only downside is you need to get some sticks or logs or whatever when you get to your campsite. Usually sometimes I'll bring my hiking poles and bring those in. Um, and then this is a big yellow bean sleeping bag. It's gonna be warm tonight. The bushcraft people don't crucify me. I want to have nice lots of room tonight and we brought the Jeep, so why bring a mummy bag? We know a lot of our viewers are campers too, so we thought it'd be cool to show you a lot of our gear that we have. This is a War Bonnet Ridge Runner bridge style hammock. Super light, uh, it has poles you have to bring with it. You can use trekking poles and adapters, but these are real, real lightweight. What's cool about this is you can put your sleeping pad, there's actually a double layer to it, so your sleeping pad stays right underneath, it doesn't slide out or anything. There's what they call saddlebags, it's just pockets on each side. Built-in bug net, um, and it's super comfortable, flat lie. It doesn't matter if you're a van life camper or you have a homemade thing like John does in the other videos or whatever you do, RV, everyone needs a tarp. AquaQuest tarps, in my opinion, John's too, they're the best on the market. A little pricey, but so worth it. We've had these things out in torrential downpours, 
uh, sleep under them in the winter. You can see that on some of the other videos. And these things have never, never let us down. And they come in really big sizes, pretty lightweight. You can get them in three different thicknesses. And then uh, use Hennessy hammock snake skins to go on the outside, makes it super easy to set up. Man, it got dark quick. We're gonna uh, just finish setting up, start a fire, cook up some food. We got steak tips, we got beef on a stick, we've got sausages, lots of food. We got marinated mushrooms and marinated steak tips on a skewer. Awesome. I, I couldn't even hear you, but I predicted you'd be like, whoa, that was drunk. <laughs> We usually do bushcraft style camping, so this is a bit of a treat. We get to bring in, not have to carry everything, we get to bring in groceries. It's kind of nice. This is what happens when John is in charge of the fire. Thanks again guys for checking out our stuff. It's for a good cause. We're raising a lot of money for the for, for kids to learn about the outdoors. Um, actually more money than we thought we would ever raise, which is very cool. Hopefully this stuff inspires you to get outside and uh, be alive outside. Awesome.